Drum Factory Direct here. We're going to talk about how to put together the trick strainer. So first we're going to take the main body of the strainer. You can see here there's a smaller portion and then a larger portion. You want to make sure that smaller portion is the bottom of the strainer. And then we're going to take the black washer, rest that on that thinner bottom portion like so. And next, the next part we're going to grab is this rotating donut portion. You see a flat side cut out of it with a threaded section. That's where the handle's going to go in. But right now we're just going to take that so that the flat section is facing up towards the top of the strainer and then slide that in there. That's going to move that washer, so you're going to want to reach your finger in and straighten that out so that you have clearance down the center of the strainer. And then once you have that, you can just set that down and grab the main drive shaft of the strainer. You're going to want that vertical section, that vertical slot cut out on the top, and then the wraparound cutout section towards the bottom. That vertical section is going to line up with the back of the strainer, and you'll see in a second. So just wiggle that through there and then make sure that the vertical slot cutout is lined up with that hole in the back and we're going to take one of the two black hex screws with the wheel on it sometimes that wheel does not come already on the the black hex screw so you're going to want to put that on there once you have that on there put that through the back of the strainer where we have the hole large enough and then we're going to take our 3 16 Allen's wrench and tighten that down. Now you don't want to tighten it all the way. Tighten it down and then kind of loosen it a little bit just so that it's pretty much finger tightened equivalent. That way that allows the drive shaft of the strainer to move freely but still has the guidance of the screw in there. Next we're going to take the other Allen key screw with the wheel on it and do the same thing to the, the donut portion. You want to make sure that track is lined up with the hole so that when you screw it in there, just kind of finger tighten it down and make sure it's in that wraparound track that's on the main drive shaft. Again, don't tighten it all the way down, more of like a finger tighten with the Allen wrench. And now you can see when you turn the donut, the drive shaft goes up and down and follows along both the tracks. Now we have the thin bar with two different size threading, uh, one slightly longer. You're going to take the slightly longer section and thread on the black hexagonal insert. Only thread that about half the way or maybe a third of the way up. Leave some of that threading open so that we have enough room to work with. Then we're going to take the bottom of the strainer and insert that up there until the shorter threaded portion comes out the top of the strainer. That's where the knurled knob is going to go on for making your snare adjustments. So take that and try and hold that that drive shaft or that uh, thin bar hold that you might need some pliers to hold it down so you can tighten that neural knob on you want to tighten the neural knob so that 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 it's not unthreading when you loosen it you want the threading to be loosened in the hexagonal insert that's what's going to loosen and tighten the snare wires so you can even use some loctite on the top portion of that to thread on the knurled knob. Now we're assembling the handle. You're going to take the thin metal bar with the equal threading on each side, screw the teardrop handle onto that, and then screw the entire assembly into the donut. And again, you can use, if you're happy with everything, you can use Loctite and get that just in there for good. Now we're going to assemble the snare strap plate for the strainer. 
So what you're going to do is take that oval p shaped piece with the three threaded holes and the black hex screw. So we'll grab the black hex screw and then take the the oval piece with the three holes in it. The black hex screw goes through the center one with the recessed portion on it. Thread that in and we're going to use a 1 8 Allen wrench and tighten that down. You want to tighten it down so that it's a little loose right before you tighten it to be completely perpendicular to the body of the strainer. So you want to get that completely perpendicular so you kind of loosen it until the most tight you can get it is right at its perpendicular point. So it takes a few tries um, but yeah you want that to be perpendicular with the body of the strainer. And then once you loosen that neural knob on top of that you can see that how it drops down the snare strap plate and that's what loosens your wires and then the rest is pretty self-explanatory you take the the plate and the drum key head screws and assemble that and do the same with the butt plate and there's your completed assembled trick strainer